Hey there, tea time with tea. It's election night. A chance to rebalance the scales. A chance to turn the tide. A chance for common sense and decency to come to the forefront. We've had four years of a sideshow, a con man, a carnival barker running this nation and the GOP happily toddling along behind them because hey who doesn't love a good show especially when they benefit from it <sighs> here we are 14 days out we have a president running around trying to intimidate people we have his lackeys trying to support him we have this we have the Secretary of State of Georgia having to explain, no, Mr. President, our votes, when, they, when our citizens vote, it is with the utmost security and privacy. You can't have their ballots. You can't check their names or their address or who they voted for. You don't get to do that. That's not allowed in this nation. You have crews running around putting on a three-ring circus sideshow. We may not count the votes. We haven't had a problem with our electoral college or with how our votes are handled or how the Senate handles the final, basically, just show count in over 200 years until Cruz, until his little sycophants. We have a president claiming fraud and four senators who were just voted in brand new and returning senators who have not said one damn word about if you're all on the same ballot and if his vote was affected by fraud, wouldn't yours also be affected by fraud? Wouldn't your vote, you being placed in office, be fraudulent? You can't have it both ways. I mean, really. It's like saying you're going to split a baby because half of it is fraudulent and half of it is a valid baby. You can't do that. That's impossible. But they're all afraid of a mean tweet from the toddler in chief. When did the GOP lose its backbone? When did they decide... That oath they swore on the Constitution is, eh, maybe we will honor it and maybe we won't. That it's not an actual oath. When did they decide this? And don't for a minute let Mitch McConnell off the hook. He hasn't said a damn word. Oh, he's put on a show and no doubt allowed a few members to be able to go out and say, I'm not going to vote against it. Mm, while letting others stir up discomfort, problems in our nation. Not one word about a president saying, come on down, proud boys. Come on down, boogaloo boys. Militias, come on down. Help support the vote. No, you're asking toy soldiers to come march through our city streets when not even a year ago, when civilians protested, you sent out the police to fire tear, glad, tear gas and rubber bullets at them. But, oh, that's right. These are your allies. These are your friends. These are the people that would sit there and nod their head. Yes, Mr. President. Yes, Mr. President. And not say, no, sir, you're actually wrong. You're incorrect. They will not push back. They'll just go along to get along. But you're putting them in danger. You're putting them in a situation where they could actually be hurt. And civilians, the people that you swore to protect, could be hurt. 
I keep putting out a PSA. BLM, don't come to Washington. Antifa, stay home. The fight is done. The vote has been done. Do not give any ammunition to this fool. We have 14 days till January 20th when he is gone. Pull it back. Maintain control. Maintain your power. Don't come from Virginia. Don't come from New York. Don't come from Kentucky. Don't come from anywhere. Stay home. Let them have the day. Let them wander around with nothing to do. Let them chant. Let them whimper. Because they really don't know how to roar. Because we roared May 3rd. Pardon me. We roared. Roared November 3rd. It is done. The vote is done. Stay home. Antifa, stay home. Pass it on. BLM. Stay home. Pass it on. And we'll try to mend both our reputation and our nation. Don't take time. But it needs to start now. Have a good evening. This is Tea Time with Tea. You can look me up over on TikTok at T-E-E Brown. 105. Remember, trust the tea, not the Kool-Aid. Night.